Hey there, if you want to see how I did this look, then keep on watching. First, I'm going to start by filling in my eyebrows. I like to use an angled brush with a spoolie on the end and an eyeshadow of my choice to fill them in. I tried using a different color than I usually do and I was not liking the way it came out. And I always, of course, clean them up with concealer at the end and then go into the eye look. Cleaning up the brush, probably one of my favorite parts of the makeup routine just because I find it so satisfying. my brows are done, I move on to the eye look, starting by priming the lids with concealer. I'm still using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Then with a small, dense brush, I start packing on a dark black shadow to map out the crease shape. A fluffier brush and a light gray shade to blend out the black and get ready to clean that up and cut the crease with concealer. I then pack a bright white eyeshadow on top of the concealer to set it and move on to the rest of the face. For today's look, I didn't use any primer. I just applied my products to moisturize skin. First thing, using the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in shade 330 to conceal any blemishes or redness that I don't want to show through. After I blend that all out, I go in with the contour using L'Oreal Infallible Concealer again in shade 410 Almond. It is a bit warm toned for my preferences, but it blends out really nicely and that's why I do love to use this concealer for everything. Next up is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This is my all-time favorite foundation. Next, I'm using that same concealer again, this time in shade 320, shade porcelain, just to help brighten up some areas of the face. Next, I'm going to apply the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in shade Saucy Mauve and then also the Jeffree Star Mystery Frost Highlighter. Like 
And when the face makeup is done, yeah. it's on to the yeah, lips. And the last step in my makeup routine today is going to be mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. I've recently been trying it out and I like it a lot. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And this is the finished result of my goth inspired makeup look. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.